my name is Amber and this is Nacelle Insta uh, Nacelle's Instagram and I'm here today to give you guys a short and easy English class to follow. Um, so today's class is going to be on the different times um, during the day. Um, so of course we can say the time on the clock, it's four o'clock, it's five o'clock, but we also use expressions or phrases um, to mean a certain time, which if you've never learned, you're not going to understand. So I'm going to cover um, the different parts of the day in, in this class. Um, so as always, I'm going to share my screen with you so then you can see everything that I can see and we will start the class. So different parts of the day. So we're going to start at the earliest point and go into the latest point. So the first time of day is dawn. And we don't really talk about this part of the day that often, um, but this is when um, the sun starts to rise, when the sun starts to come up. And this is dawn, okay? So most people are still asleep at dawn. Uh, in a sentence, we could say, the farmer gets up and goes to work at dawn, okay, when the sun comes up. Moving on then, we have early morning, um, and this is about from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., <clears throat> sorry, um, from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., so it's very, very early in the morning, um, and we could say, I was woken up in the early morning by the singing birds. Okay, normally we talk about the early morning um, in a negative way, or I woke up in the early morning because of a problem. Okay, um, moving on then is late morning, um, and we would say this is from 10 till 12 o'clock. Obviously this is UK time, I know that these things change based on your culture and your country, but for us, a late morning is 10 till 12. So normally I have a coffee late morning, okay, or uh, at the weekend I get up late uh, in the late morning, okay. Uh, moving on then is noon, which is 12 o'clock exactly, or midday, which has a little bit of a, a variation, kind of 12 till 2 o'clock. Um, so we could say most people eat lunch at midday or the meeting will start at noon. Okay, so a small difference, noon is always 12 o'clock and midday is 12 till two. Um, okay, afternoon. Again here you can say early afternoon or late afternoon, but in general afternoon is 12 till 5 p.m. So I said here in the example, I have English classes in the morning and the afternoon, okay? So 12 till five. Next, we have the evening. Um, this is something for some reason lots of students don't use in their in their day-to-day -day conversation. They say night or day. Um, so evening is that transition between uh, the afternoon and the night, the middle time. So this is about six o'clock until eight o'clock. Um, at night. So I have two examples. Good evening, welcome to the restaurant. And she normally has a shower in the evening after dinner. Okay, evening time. Um, the next one is night. Uh, this is from, I would say, nine o'clock until sunrise, until the sun comes up. And we can say, last night I stayed home and watched TV. This is an easy one. Um, then we have dusk. Dusk, we don't really use this very often. It's similar to dawn. Uh, it's not a time frame that we talk to. You would never say, I will meet you at dusk. It's, it's too difficult a time frame. We, um, but you might find it in writing or maybe older, uh, older books you would maybe see this and it just means the time when the sun goes down okay so it can it will change depending on the year or where you are in the world um, so we could say the street lights come on at dusk 
okay and finally then midnight which is 12 o'clock at night 12 a.m and we can say normally pubs close in the uk at midnight okay this is a very set time midnight okay there you go guys that is all of the the phrases that we use to break up the day um, from the very very early morning right until the latest point at night uh, let me know if you have any question tell me what's your favorite time of day um, and I will see you again next week bye bye